The navy bean is an important ingredient of the British diet, with many people in the UK relying on uh, baked beans as a part of their five-a-day nutrition. Um, as a country, we consume about 1.7 million cans every day in the UK. Um, and in 2008, for example, when the credit crunch hit and volatile global food prices reached unprecedented levels, uh, we saw sales of baked beans exceed £300 million per year. But the key ingredient, the navy bean, isn't currently grown in this country, uh, and so the UK consumer is entirely dependent on imports of this staple food crop. So the starting point for us is a variety that we've inherited called Edmund. The scientists here, it was a national vegetable research station, had developed a variety specifically for UK growers, and it had all the characteristics that canning uh, companies would require for processing, for cooking and flavor and looking properly in, in, in the can. But they needed to introduce disease resistance and the shorter growing season. And they were able to achieve something close to what was needed called Edmund. So at the, the point at which they stopped the research, they had identified a brown seeded bean, which had some other characteristics. Um, and they were beginning to introduce those new traits into Edmund, uh, shorter growing season and good yield. Um, and they had some experimental lines which were looking promising. Our starting point is to actually evaluate those in the field uh, to see uh, 20 years later if those improvements are better than Edmund. And we're, we're going into this uh, with the intention of applying new methods of science uh, involving molecular biology, which 20 years later could make the task of actually improving a bean much more straightforward and, and more rapid. So the traits we're looking for are cold tolerance for seedling establishment in spring, um, resistance to halo blight, uh, a disease that occurs worldwide, and early maturity so that the crop is ready for harvest in early September before the onset of uh, autumnal rains. The process involves uh, several generations, so that takes time. You, if you were to use a glass house or a polytunnel, you could probably do two or three generations in a year. Um, but at some point you need to test things in the field as we go back to progeny and look for other variants and how we actually think of ways to understand the genes themselves so we can improve uh, our efficiency of actually finding that very unique bean that we're looking for. And that's, that's where new methods of molecular biology come in where, where we can actually find the bean without having to grow it in the field. And if we can do that with large numbers, uh, we can more efficiently discard things and save what looks to be most valuable. Andy Talk is funded by the BBSRC. Uh, this is a, our, our main source of funding for academic research, and they are putting a, a large amount of investment into uh, food security and the application of, of state-of-the-art science to improve the ability of producing major crops. A central component of our project, for example, is applying the latest DNA sequencing technology with the ultimate aim of improving the ability of breeders to select lines combining traits that are essential for low input production. In view of the importance of common bean as a source of food and income throughout Africa and Latin America, the benefits of developing genome-wide genetic markers and beginning to map the genes controlling these traits could extend beyond UK production. That can make valuable contributions to food security and sustainable agricultural livelihoods.